Yeah, hey, you know what? I, I do some of the puzzles too. So, um, did did you basically make up all the puzzles and everything, or did did somebody work with you on that? Yeah, I work with um, with a couple other folks to put the the puzzles together. But uh, but yeah, that's that's a whole nother that's a long process. Those puzzles. All right, we're back with more of that interview with Jace O'Neill, author of No Girls Allowed. But he's not just an author; he's also an actor and a professional. He's been an adjunct professor, an instructor, a talent agent, a ministry director, youth counselor, and mentor, and much, much, much more. I'm all for tr- giving things a try. At first, you don't succeed. Try, try again. And then if you still fail, give up. There's no reason being a fool about it. I think that's a quote I heard somewhere. If it's not, it should be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, you know, you, you, you keep trying and don't give up. But if you start to realize that, uh, you know, you really don't have a, a gifting in that area, try something different because you have a gifting somewhere. It's kind of like an American Idol, all those people who think they're really good singers and their parents and their friends swear they're good singers, but they're really not. Yeah. And and then their parents see him on TV and go, oh, I, I shouldn't have told him he was so good. <laughs> I I really think that that's a, a big thing. It's really important to allow kids to dream and to to try new things because sometimes you never know if they have a gifting in something or another. So I'm really big on encouraging that kind of thing. That's cool. I, I was going to say what I I've always had the policy myself with my children to encourage them, but to be real with them. So if, yes. Um, a lot of teachers, a lot of folks gave up on when I was younger, and it wasn't until I was a little bit older that I started to uh, uh, to bloom, so to speak. So, um, you know, I'm really big about encouraging kids to try new things and, and that kind of thing. Yeah, and I think I think that has some biblical, you know, foundation too, because um, there's several places where it talks about taking the risks, you know, and as long as as God is with or you're with God on it. It's not. It's not a giant risk. You know what I'm saying? Especially, you know, in, eight, in the eight to twelve year old range. I mean, that is such a key point of in their lives for um, for developing their creativity. And um, you know, I've worked with a lot of kids in in camps and different things like that. And it's just a great time to try new things. Yeah, because like you said before, it's if they don't try it, they'll never know whether they could have done it. One of the reasons I think. And a, a devotional for 8 to 12 year olds is so important is because if you don't start when they're young, why are they going to want to do it when they're older? It's kind of like, you know, kids are younger. They want to help around the house. They want to help with the dishes and do little things. But it takes a little bit more work to oversee them that, and that kind of stuff. And a lot of parents, you know, kind of shoo the kids away and don't get them involved. And so when they, you know, get teenagers and different things like that, they don't want to be involved in that kind of thing. And and sometimes that's the way it is with in the spiritual things, too. I mean, if you look at the biggest gaps in the church, you know, it's in the college years, and and also the young marrieds, and um, you know, a lot of those kids didn't get the foundation when they're younger. So devotion that is relevant um, to their age range helps keep them plugged in to help keep them close to God. Yeah, I agree. I think that makes good sense. All right, we'll be back with more of Jace O'Neill and the things he's doing here on the Waka Radio Just Bill Show. Here on the Just Show, Bill Waka. Waka Waka. Here on the Just Bill Show on Waka Radio. You're listening to Waka Radio. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here's Mr. Jace O'Neill. So, uh, who's publishing No Girls Allowed? Tyndale House. Uh, they're, they're publishing it. They're, uh, they were great to work with. Um, you know, I, I didn't realize this. I mean, I've always known of them because they, uh, they've done a, a lot of uh, popular books out there. Uh, but I didn't realize that they were the eighth largest trade publishers in America. I thought that was really, really exciting. So I'm honored to be working with them. And uh, they were just great to work with, from the editing to the creative process with the artwork. All of it was just, uh, I had a blast. So are are they, uh, I, I haven't researched them, obviously, but are they... Are they big in Christian only books, or do they do secular books as well? They primarily do uh, Christian books, but books tend to be far reaching. Um, one of the best sellers, uh, Tony Dungy from Indianapolis Colts, um, his book, and then Drew Brees, the Super Bowl MVP from the New Orleans Saints, his book. So they've done you know everything from the Left Behind books to um, uh, New Living Translation. I mean, they're just okay. They're so- everywhere. So, yeah, they are big. I mean, I actually have copies of their books. So what are you going to be working on now? 
Well, right now I'm working on a couple different books, one of which is like my pet project. When I was younger, I had trouble reading, and one of the books that really helped me, it caught my attention, sparked my imagination, was Shel Silverstein's Where the Sidewalk Ends. Ah. And so I've been working on a book uh, like that, in fact, pretty much completely written, and um, you know, I'm shopping that around. I get a lot of great responses from it. It's just that a lot of the publishers haven't done anything like that in a while, so they're because of the bad economy, they're a little bit nervous on it. But but uh, in the meantime, I'm working on uh, another devotional. That's I've already got a contract for that that will be coming out the first of the year, and working on some uh, some novels for the young adult age range. But I'd really like to get that pet project out there, the Shel Silverstein type book. That's something I really love to do because of my connection with it. Ah, so something near and dear to your heart. Yes. Cool. Hopefully it hasn't been horrible for you, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just trying to do a little bit of playful banter. Okay. Oh, wait, that's not in the script. Oh, darn. Uh, I forgot right. the playful banter part. <laughs> I, you know what? I didn't get a script. Where where was that? You didn't get a script? I didn't get a script. You're kidding me. I, I That carrier pigeon should have brought it yesterday. Oh, well, you know, I'm in the South right now. We probably shot it and had it for lunch. So oh, was... man. Oh, well. Hey, I think we did pretty good without a script, though, don't you? Hey, you know what? Um, we'll, we'll see what the audience thinks, you know, if they pay attention and <laughs> you know, buy the books. Buy the books. Uh, buy the book, No Girls Allowed. And, sub- and subscribe that. to your website, too. Yeah, subscribe to my website. Because that is one way that you will find out what Jace O'Neill is really working on at the moment. Yes, yes. And I'm scrolling down again here, scrolling down. Oh, okay. I found his blog, ladies and gentlemen. So, yes, definitely check that out because there's a lot of good information there. And you can find out all sorts of things about the guy, but I don't think you're going to find, like, his social security number or anything. So, safe to go there. (laughs) We had that removed last week. Okay. Yeah, had some problems with that. Is that a social security numberectomy? Um, I'm not touching that with a ten foot pole. Okay. Oh, look, there's Tori Martin. He's blindfolded, yeah. and you're feeding him. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a. Oh yeah, that's on our um, on my website, the video and and my blog. We did a. Um, we did. Um, how uh, the word just escaped me. Hold on. Parody. A spoof. Spoof. Yes, we did a spoof on um, facing the giants. Um, and uh, we we uh, that's a kind of funny story. Facing the giants. Uh, uh, is a Christian film that same people did fireproof and all that. And, um, we put together just a random thing and we put that video together and we sent it, uh, to the producer of, of, uh, of the movie. And I hope that, you know, he would like it. Thankfully he, uh, he did, which was, um, was exciting. Cause I was worried that he would not. Yeah. You're, me. you're always a little leery when you, you poke fun at somebody else whether they're going to like it or not yeah um yeah. Tori, we... Tori martin's in it and also 